at the SVI factory in Fort Collins. Right here they're building a hazmat truck. When Jason a... Klein's not fighting fires. I've been around for a while. I've been working for Red, White & Blue since 2001. He's selling fire trucks. Do all the specifications. Trucks that are born right here. The trucks are all born here in, in uh, Fort Collins. Built from the ground up. We build and design the truck from the ground up. Um, from the sheet metal to a finished product. With every door, wire, and even decal put on right here. Not very many people know that there's truly a fire truck factory in Fort Collins, Colorado. And this year, they're building around 20 trucks for Colorado fire departments. So we've got a lot of Colorado pride running through this factory right now. When it comes to fire truck sales, it doesn't have to be a year with high fire danger. There could be low fire danger, and sales will still be cooking. Maybe someone should put that out. A lot of times when the forest fire season is bad, or you know the urban interface season is bad, then we'll uh, see an uptick. In fact, this year's been a record year for trucks with 50 orders, the maximum they can do in this facility. Back in December, at our sales meeting time, we were looking at our numbers. We were already sold out for the year. We could not sell another truck. Sending them out to departments as far away as Canada and as close as Aspen. They're gonna use this in their new station that they're building. And Black Forest. It's getting ready to go out the door today. Just the latest truck to roll off the line before rolling to the rescue. Pretty awesome to see once you finish the project. So once these trucks are finished, firefighters inspect them from the ground up, which is uh, pretty important because these things can cost between 200,000 and a million. But consider this, when Summit Fire EMS got their fire truck last summer from SVI, two days after they got it, it was already in service over the Lake Christine fire, helping to protect millions of dollars uh, worth of homes there in El Jebel and Basalt. So, uh, Marty, th these trucks are extremely important to firefighters. And, and even when you're looking at a wildfire season like we are this summer that doesn't look that active, you know you're still going to have a wildfire or two. So getting these things built is crucial. Okay, and all the bolts in place under there, all good? They're, they're all, yeah, they're, 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 there was one loose bolt in there uh, just barely, uh, and I had to muscle it in, Marty, sure. but it's, it's fixed now. Use that old uh, Matt Renew yeah. hand torque wrench there, got it all tightened up. Thank you so much, Matt.